Hello and welcome to another moaning show. This week I want to talk to you about something rather ironic. Social media. Now, social media now encompasses every part of our lives. We're always, and I mean always, um, um, on it, basically. Whether it's on our computers, tablets, phones, or whatever. You've always seen people comment on social media. Question one this week is, don't you find it ironic complaining about social media, considering you're right? And it's where you get your so-called fandom, so to speak. Yes, YouTube is social media, there's no doubt about that. And ironically, like I mentioned, it's all to do with the mere fact that to get views on YouTube, you need to be in the so-called algorithm of YouTube. You need to be um, compliant with their rules and regulations, which is to be said for every aspect of life. The only issue is, is the fact of social media, it's not um, governed by the same laws as you and I are on a daily basis. Yes, there's the Cyber Terrorism Act and all of that, all of the stuff that goes with that, but at the same time, it leads me on to question number two this week. Question number two, in your opinion, what's the worst thing about social media? The worst thing about social media, in my personal opinion, is the anonymity of it. You know, the anonymous aspect of it. You can create an account on a social media website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever, and no one can actually prove that it's actually you. Which leads me to comment on the fact of so-called duplicate accounts. What this is, is a hacker trying to get into your personal details and the personal details of your so-called friends list or your followers list, if you're talking about Facebook or Twitter. Now, why anyone would want to become you is uh, anyone's fucking business, basically for the simple fact of, I don't want to be me. Why would anyone else want to fucking be me? You know, it's like, oh, well, I'll steal £20 off of that. I was like, fuck off. Wankers. But that's the thing. And if every single person out there, there could be someone watching this video right now that says, oh, don't like the look of him. Let's fuck, it. Let's fuck his life up. And it's already happened. Probably not due to social media, but my bank account was hacked about two years ago. And it was one of the scariest things I've ever experienced. Luckily, it was all sorted and I got my money back from the bank because I reported it. And you do when you, you know, I haven't got thousands and thousands of pounds in the bank. Not more to the pity, of course. You know, but the thing is, it's all, it's all relative. It's all, uh, you know, and you think, well, what's the point? You know, what's the point in a hacker hacking you? Why don't they hack the people that matter? You know, I'm not saying I don't matter. But what I'm saying is, is the people that have got millions in the bank, like footballers, sports stars, movie stars. Yes, they get hacked all the time. That leads me on to question three this week. Should celebrities be banned from social media? Interesting question. Now, like a lot of other people, Sometimes my mouth works before my head and I say things that I either shouldn't say or, you know, should think about first and, you know, it could lead me into getting into a bit of trouble. Now, the thing about social media is that you can delete your comment not long after you make it. And say, like, if you make a comment or an opinion based on a knee-jerk reaction, so to speak, now, you, you're all emotional, and you make a comment, and it's like, oh, fuck, shouldn't I said that? On Facebook, Twitter, and all other social media, you can make that comment and then delete it soon afterwards. Celebrities. Now, 
see a previous moaning show for my thoughts about so-called fucking celebrities. But at the same time, should celebrities be banned from using social media? In a way, yes, they should be banned. And here's my reasoning why. Celebrities, as they get more um, so-called popular, they gain more followers. Like Lady Gaga, I think, has a 100 million followers or some, some bullshit like that. Uh, movie stars have millions and millions of followers slash, you know, people who like their shit. And so they comment on something. It's like, yeah, 27,000 likes on, I just had a beef burger for lunch. You know, it's like, well done you. You know, do we really need to know what, um, fucking Lady Gaga had for breakfast? Or do we really need to know what David Beckham did with his daughter that afternoon or some shit like that, you know, it's like, fuck off. So, but you get these reactions to things like, um, oh, I don't know, a sports team might um, lose a match. You know, your, your your sports team, the one that you support, lose a match. It's like, hey, fucking piece of shit to you. Fuck off. You just bastards. And, Yeah, on one hand, you have the right to be disappointed if it's your team. But at the same time, you get um, some so-called celebrities saying that, you know, they could do better. So like, yeah, well, put your money where your mouth is, you know, things like that. But what I'm trying to get at is millions and millions of people look up to these celebrities. And they tend to hinge on every word that these celebrities say. Now, if you go on to the reality side of celebrities, they're less intelligent, as I've said in a previous morning show. Now, they make an opinion, or they make a comment, and it's their opinion, and it's their truthful opinion as well. That's what you've got to look at in this instance. It's their truthful opinion, and they're always, and I mean always, like, they're not using everything up here. Now, we don't all the time. We can't all the time. It's it's like being at work as well. You cannot be 100%, yeah, 100% of the time. It's impossible. You show me someone that's 100%, 100% of the time, and I'll be like, fair play, well done. But at the same time, the rest of us, you know, we're between, say, I don't know, 80 to 100% most of the time. Now, it goes without saying that people that follow um, celebrities on social media, you know, sort of like they hang on their every word, you know, sort of like, oh, I'll be at the blah, blah, blah tonight, signing autograph, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all right. And then you've got to be really fucking careful about the people that will come and try and get a photo or, you know, I'm not saying they're all fucking psychopaths, you know, it goes without saying. But at the same time, you've got to be fucking careful. And again, on social media, um, it's policed by rules, regulations, policies and all of that. You can't say everything that pops into your head. Oh, I think blah, blah, blah is a complete fucking total fucking idiot or I think Lee Lee is a, a basket short of a picnic or something like that you know you, you cannot say that anymore because it could be construed as um, as bullying and that's the second worst thing about uh, about social media like I say you've got the anonymous side of things my name might not be what I, what I say it is my online presence is HCD01. That is me. Those of you watching probably know my name by now, but at the same time, that might not be the name I choose to create an account with on social media, which means people could be cyberbullied. There's stories of celebrities and singers in pop groups and shit like that that got cyberbullied as soon as they won a fucking competition, for fuck's sake. And it's like, oh, you fucking shit, I wanted the other team. For a start, fuck off. And secondly, who are you to say that that person's shit? 
clearly you didn't vote on whatever band won that competition or whatever personality won that fucking social media bullshit, mainly due to the fact of your favourite didn't win. There's no need to let the whole fucking world know about it. But you see, you see it all the time. You see it all the time, you know, and there are, you know, there is a cyber police unit these days to try and crack down on shit. And there are numbers and, you know, websites to go on to, you know, say that you have been cyber bullied. It's just earlier today, I stopped being a fan of um, a sports team on Facebook because I made a comment about the poor form that that sports team was in. And all it was was, oh, we might need a new manager. And I got three, four, five comments of being told to shut the fuck up. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to that opinion. So fuck you. And fuck the team as well, basically. But anyway, that's about it for this edition of The Moaning Show. I do apologise for the um, lateness of it. I'm trying to get a session of recording in. That's not going to happen today. Um for one reason or another but I hope to be doing that very very soon thank you very much for watching stick around for more moaning and uh, there will be new projects incoming uh, specifically on this channel hopefully fingers crossed I will start to get some video game playthroughs in the channel and as well as that um, go through my experiences uh, of playing those games. Anyway, thank you very much. Thoughts, comments and suggestions down in the comments box, please. Like, comment, and I won't p get pissed off at whatever's commented. And subscribe. Click the little bell in the, in, the, in the fucking corner there or there, wherever the fuck it is. I don't fucking know. And I will see you next time for more moaning. See you then.